So have you ever wondered how much EMF is actually safe? Like, how much EMF can I get and I'm gonna be okay? Well, that's a complicated question. I don't think it's that complicated. Well, yes it is. I don't think so, just tell me. All right, I'll tell you. But first, I want you to know this. If you want some free EMF gear delivered to your door every month, we are giving away EMF protective gear. Check the video description to find out more about that. Let's jump in. So to understand this better, I want to actually read you a comment that I got from the wonderful Bedros. I'm gonna say their name like Bedros. I speak a little Spanish and so, Bedros, Bedros. They left a really good comment uh, in regards to Wi-Fi router guards. If you don't know what those are, check the video description, but they basically reduce your signal so you don't get as much EMF coming from Wi-Fi. Pedro says, you know that Wi-Fi radiation isn't harmful, right? Wi-Fi emits 2.4 or 5 gigahertz depending on your router. That's too low to even be harmful. The light you see every day, red to violet spectrum, is between 400 to 789 terahertz. That means that the visible light is roughly 150 times more powerful than that emitted by your router. And yes, electromagnetic radiation is light. True, it's all in that same spectrum. It's just the we see light and the other we just don't see, our eyes can't see it. In order for it to be harmful, you should not exceed UVB. UVC and above is what ionizing radiation is. The sun is a good example and that's why you wear sunscreen. This is a really great comment. It brings up a good point about the research on this. And a lot of people say, ah, it's not ionizing. Basically ionizing means it's warming you up. It could burn you if you had too much of it. I understand the science behind that, but the stories that come out about non-ionizing affecting health are just way too many to take that at face value. For some people, it's probably okay, but not for everybody. That's why it's good you're here researching and deciding for yourself. So this is my reply. Hey, Bedros, thanks for the comment. The problem with Wi-Fi and other man-made radiation is that they are chaotic to our bodies. These chaotic frequencies have never been experienced in such quantities in the history of the world. More and more people are feeling the effects of it. Too much radiation anywhere along the spectrum can be damaging to health, ionizing and non-ionizing. I was just reading the book, Dirty Electricity, and the evidence is strong against EMF being a health hazard for some people. It does increase your risk. I don't know if it's everybody, but for some. And his book only focuses on EMF from electricity. Thanks again for the comment. You've got a gift for explaining things really well. And Bedros, you do. Well done. And this was their, their reply. EMF say family, yeah, I guess you are right. Anything can be damaging if it's experienced in large quantities. I love this comment. It's like drinking too much water. Water is good, but if you drink like a whole gallon of something, you won't feel great. And people actually die from drinking too much water. And I think this is good. And this is what everybody should do. I should make some investigation on the topic though. Seems interesting. Also, thanks for the compliments. Have a nice day. You have a nice day, Pedro. Thanks for this. This inspired me to make this video. Well done. So from here, how do we determine what a safe level is? This is where it gets complicated because different places, different countries have different standards on what a safe amount is. So really you have to go do some research and decide for yourself. For example, just go out and do a little search and for safe EMF levels and you'll actually find an article similar to this one at Healthline where it has kind of this danger level section. Now, over here it says no known health effects expected if your exposure to EMF falls below the levels in the following guidelines. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that. And so it's really good to compare different sources. And plus, this doesn't ever this doesn't even talk about amount of time. Like the amount of time plays a big role in your exposure. But you can take a look at these numbers here and then we can compare them with what I have in my spreadsheet after doing some research on very safe levels. I'm gonna jump into my spreadsheet and explain things for you just a little bit. So if you wanna understand these levels more, please go to the video description and watch the other video that explains how to read an EMF meter because it'll make more sense. But basically, do your research and decide where your acceptable levels are. Like, I wanna sleep at these levels because they're low. I'm okay being in these levels, not for long periods of time. I'm okay being at work in these levels because these are all things to consider. And it gets a little confusing with all these different measurements and stuff. Don't worry too much about that. Once you have an EMF meter, you'll be able to read it and just find where it fits. And so these are very conservative up here. There's less conservative down here. You'll have to do some research and decide for yourself on what works for you. But as I always say, less is best, none is even better. Go for that. But here is something interesting. Have you ever heard of organite? We all have energy and a vibration. It's like when you can sense that someone is angry, like they have an energy about them, like we sense it, right? The whole idea behind organite is that energy is either negative or positive. Negative energy is pretty like contained and not moving. And you feel that like when you're angry, you just hold it all in here and you wanna kind of suck things into you. But when you're happy, you're moving. Some people have a gift for actually being able to see EMF. When they see EMF, it's like a dark cloud they see a dark cloud. But organite has a way of changing that dark cloud into more of a rainbow color. So there's a group out there in Africa called Organize Africa. I'll put a link to them down in the video. You can check them out. They're just so cool. They are out there making organite and they just go put it all over Africa, specifically around cell towers and things like that. And the results are very, very interesting that they find that in areas where there's been a drought or there's another problem, 
when they put the organite there around a cell tower, things change. So the thought behind this is some EMF is good for us and some is not good for us. Just like sunlight. Some sunlight's great for us to give us vitamin D. We need that. Now, EMF, the dark cloud EMF, in my opinion, less to zero is best. But they've done some interesting experiments in organized Africa where they take a cell phone and radiate water with cell phone frequencies, having organite there versus no organite and then versus regular water. And what's interesting, they take this water to sprout seeds. They sprout these seeds with these different kinds of water. And what you find is regular EMF, they typically start growing faster, but then they get really filmy and gross towards the end. Ones that are just the regular water, they grow fine. They're not filmy or anything, but the ones that have the organite irradiated water tend to grow much bigger and healthier looking in the long run. So there may be a case that EMF that has been within the realm of organite changing it into more of a positive frequency is actually good for you. How much? I don't know. But personally, I would just stay low to zero as much as you can. So if you do have to be around EMF, I would would recommend getting yourself some organite. I know it's a little far out there, but you know when you can sense that someone is like looking at you, you can like feel it on your face. There's something to this energy thing. So don't discount it. I'll put just some links to the different organite to organize Africa. Um, I'm going to be making some organite soon. I'm excited to show you how to do it. How much EMF is safe? It's really up to you. And um, please drop some uh, information in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in getting free EMF gear delivered to your door, we give away things like EMF meters and other great things like stickers every single month and uh, definitely want you to be part of that. Talk to you soon.